work on setting up this computer cart in your classroom. Now the first thing you're going to need with the computer cart is your computer cart key. Now this key is two-sided. It's probably the only key that's two-sided. Both doors. Let's take a look at what we have inside. Here we got a laptop. Ethernet cable, yours might be gray, but that's okay. Color does not matter. We have a charger. VGA connector, which I call a pigtail. And two parts for your charging cord. One's a little plug, one's a longer cord, all what you, uh, your preferences, but I usually stick with the long cord that just slips on just like that. Now, other things we have in the cart. Remote for the projector. We have a little gray cable to hook the computer to the document camera. We have a VGA booster signal here. That's just to make sure that the laptop is putting out enough power to send the signal all the way from over by the smart board to the projector, which is in the center of your room. We have a thick VGA cable. One end is a male end, one end is a female end. That's the only VGA cable that has the male and female ends on it. We have an RCA sound plug that will plug directly into the headphone port on your laptop so you can use the classroom sound system. Down here, we have two VGA cables. One's black, one's blue. If they're both black or the black both blue, doesn't really matter, but most of them are one's black and one's blue. We have a docking camera made by Smart. I'm just gonna put that off to the side for now. Inside, we have microphone charger and mic for your classroom sound system. have your classroom sound system. You should have a projector bag. And finally, you should have some speaker cable and a power cord hooked up to the surge protector on the bottom. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out the speaker cord and microphone cord, which is this cable here. The coaxial cable is for your microphone and the white cable with the big blue adapter that is for your speaker um, and it's a really long cord, longer than you need uh, for most of you since you're going to be right next to your smart board um, we're just going to pull it out a little bit and the second is the power cord now there's a surge protector on the bottom of your cart which is the easiest place to run all your wires so you just need to pull out your power cord and the speaker and cable and we're just going to hook them up directly into the wall. The speaker cable, or the coaxial, just like I said, and you just screw it on nice and tight. If it's loose, you will, uh, your microphone won't work, or you also might get some static. And then there's a big, on the speaker, there's a little bump. Fits in the bump in the wall, and then you just click, and you're good. And then the power cord, of course, just gets plugged in like you would any other power cord. All right, once you have your microphone and speaker and power cord plugged in, you can move your cart to where you want it. I like it on the right side of my board. I know it'll be blocking my whiteboard here, but that's all right. And I'm gonna put my little side table up so I have room for everything I need. Um, some people like to leave their laptops out. Some like to put them in their drawer. It's all personal preference. I am going to leave mine out on top and put my document camera on the side here. So let me move some of this extra stuff out of the way. And I will have my document camera here and my laptop here. Alright. First part, I am going to take my booster with my thick VGA cord 
It's a real short one. And you take the female end, and it goes into the male end on the booster. And there's only one male end on the booster, so it's the only way that that will fit. And I'm just going to tighten it nice and tight. I'm going to run up through the cart, and with that male end, that goes the pigtail. pigtail goes on the thick BJ cord. And I tighten that nice and tight, and then there's a little picture on the mini BJ port with the screen on it, and that end gets pointed up, and that matches with the picture on the side of your laptop. So, so on the laptop too. Unwind my computer cable. Now because I might take my laptop out of the room, I will not plug this through the cart, but you have the MagSafe charger, and that gets plugged in on the end. And then I'm just going to keep this on the bottom of the floor here. Go under my wires, plug that into the wall, and I know it's charging my laptop because I either have an orange light or a green light if it's not fully charged. If it is fully charged. Next, I think I'm going to take my blood of my one of my two VGA cords, I'm going to take the black one in this case, take the other end of my video splitter, doesn't matter which port you use, they're both the same, charge it, tighten it up, nice and tight, and run the other end up through my cart. Now this is the important detail here, it goes from the power booster here, and it goes on your document camera to the VGA in port on your smart, your document camera. And in this case, this is a black one, which is the reason I picked the black cord. And I'm going to just put that in there, tighten that cable up. Now, after I do that, I will take my other VGA cord. In this case, the blue one, but again, color does not matter. I go on the VGA out. And after I tighten that, this runs to the VGA port in the wall. Now this cord is stretched. So I'm actually going to move my laptop to down to the little cart and then I'll have my document camera. Again, it's, all the classrooms are different, it's making what fits for your classroom. My power cord for my laptop fell out, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug that back in. Next part is I'm taking my Ethernet cord. This, you need this cord plugged in, even though your laptop will work on wireless. You need it plugged in to watch Good Morning Boom Trail. Um, if you don't have a VGA cord, make sure you see your tech facilitator. And you just plug that into the Ethernet port underneath your smart board. And again, I'm going to run this along the back to the Ethernet port, which is between the power charger and the VGA port. Make sure you hear that nice little click. Plug it. Now, the last thing we need to do with the booster 
is grab the charger for it. You just take the little charger that came with it, just plug it in the back. A red light goes on, which is good. Now I can take my USB cable, my gray USB cable for my document camera. And there's two ends, there's a normal USB end and then there's the serial port USB, this, uh, which is square. You take that square end, that gets plugged into the document camera and your standard USB port gets plugged into one of your laptop USB ports. Next I have my uh, stereo port going from the sound system. I'll run that up through the cart and that plugs into the headphone port on the laptop. Now my laptop is fully connected, ready to go. My document camera is ready to go except for the power. I believe this is the right power cord. Run that up through the cart. And that gets plugged in the back. And you see you have an orange light that will turn into green when you're on. And there I am all set. Now, last thing you need to do is make sure your sound system is set up. Uh, these sound systems were taken apart in some cases. Um, in other cases they were left together, so depending on how your classroom was is how much work you need to do. We just want to pull out the back of it. On this first port you have four little round knobs. Two on the bottom are black, two on red. And on your white wire, you have a red wire and a black wire. Um, just make sure your red wire is going into the first red knob and the black wire is going into the first black knob. You have your power cord, uh, which gets plugged into where it says DC power. You have RCA cables, one red, one white, and that can go in either the TV VCR or CD, DVD, audio input, it does not matter. And your last part is the sensor input, which is a coaxial cable like you would for a cable TV. And that just gets plugged in like you did in the wall. And just make sure that's nice and tight. Check to make sure it works. Red light turns on. Next you have your mic and the mic charger. Um, and that is a tiny, tiny little charger with a wet yellow tip on it. And that gets plugged in where it says DC input. And you should get a red light. Now, um, again, you have your bottom with your surge protector. All your chargers should be plugged into there. The last thing you want to do, or second to last thing, you have uh, your clip for your microphone. You can just put that on so you can wear it around your neck. When you teach teaching, I know it's a very good look. Um, your remote, good place to top drawer. Next, little plug that I use, because remember I used the long cord, I'm going to put it back in the black bag so I can turn it in at the end of the year. And I'm actually going to put that in my projector bag so I do not lose it. And just put that on one of my empty shelves. Close my cart. Now I have all these cables running on top. On my cable organizer, I'm just going to put that in so I can get them where I want them to be. Again, that's all personal preference. There's no wrong way or right way to do it. And I can shove the extra cables down there. And I am all set to go. Now to hook up my smart board. Take my smart board cable down. Again, just like the gray cord for the document camera. 
you get your two different ends. The square end gets plugged into the right corner of the smart board right here. And your other end gets plugged into your USB port on your laptop. Now you will see I, right now I'm not getting any light because my laptop does not have, it's not turned on, but once I turn my laptop on, it turns red, um, I'm not logged in yet, now I get a blinking red and it should turn to a blinking green light shortly, and when I'm logged in it should turn to a solid green light. If it does not turn to a solid green light, uh, just open up your notebook application and it should fix itself automatically. Thank you. This was setting up a computer cart for your classroom. Um, if you have any questions, please see your tech facilitator. Thank you.